Now I want to circle back to the idea of puns. So puns show up in lots of different cultures and languages, and English really lends itself to using puns as jokes. Now usually for puns, the worse they are, the better they are. I think the best example of this is probably the meme bad pun dog. So a lot of times when my friends and I tell bad puns in group chats, we'll follow it up with a picture of the bad pun dog. Here's another popular meme that shows really clearly how most jokes involving puns tend to go. Now puns don't just end up as memes on the internet. You can also see them in serious things, like in the headlines of newspapers. So I want to talk a little bit more about the phrase whipped. Now you'll usually hear this in reference to a relationship, and like I said, it's a pretty sexist term. Um, it emasculates the man while demonizing the woman in the relationship. Here's a famous clip from the show Friends where Chandler is making fun of Ross for being whipped by his fiance Emily. She's got you running errands, you know, picking up wedding dresses. <laughs> Whoppa! <laughs> What's Whoppa? <laughs> you know, whipped. Whoppa! <laughs> it's not whipped. Whipped is. <laughs> That's what I did. Whoppa! Now there is some pushback to this idea, with people suggesting that the boyfriend isn't whipped, but instead he's just being a good boyfriend by making time for his girlfriend even if that means that he can't spend as much time with his friends as he used to. Now this phrase can also be used in the context of politics, by saying a certain politician is you know, whipped by a special interest group and that they'll do anything for donations from that group. You can also use it in terms of media, for example, Marvel Studios. In this episode, Adam West's character makes a couple of appearances, and the really cool thing about it is that the voice actor playing Adam West is actually Adam West. Now, he was Batman from the 1960s show, and the show was very colorful and very campy. It was a lot like the Batman comics at the time, which have changed quite a lot. Now they're a lot darker. Um, but one really famous scene from the 1960s show was this dance scene that Batman does that's also referenced in this episode of The Simpsons. Remember the bat to see? <clears throat> the show even had sound effects written up on the screen during fight scenes, just like in the comic books. <laughs> Using comic book style fight scene sound effects, uh, in media is something that you'll see a lot when they're trying to parody, you know, the 1960s Batman show or just old comics in general. References to Bigfoot show up a lot in American culture. He's usually referenced as a way to say that something is elusive or fake or a laughable conspiracy. And the people who believe in Bigfoot are often derided as being crazy. Now, Bigfoot has even shown up in some recent political ads. In an ad during the 2018 midterm elections, Bigfoot is searching for a congressman from Minnesota, Eric Paulson. And at first, he can't find him and he starts to think that Eric Paulson doesn't even exist until he finds him very easily in a big pharmaceutical company. I thought I was good at hiding. <laughs> And Eric Paulson comes along. I mean, how can you have tens of thousands of people looking for you all the time and not one of them find you? 
I started to wonder, did Eric Paulson really exist? I mean, I mean where's the proof? Some blurry photo taken from miles away? Yeah, I had to know. I was so shocked when I saw him walking by. I almost dropped the camera, but I got it. Yeah. Visual proof. <sighs> so take it from me, Bigfoot. Eric Paulson really exists. Now this ad was made to mock Eric Paulson by his opponent, Dean Phillips, for Paulson never coming to town meetings and for generally avoiding public appearances. Phillips ended up winning this election. I like to think because of this ad and how clever it was. Now, there are some people who completely and wholeheartedly believe that Bigfoot exists. They have conventions about Bigfoot where they discuss scientific theories and methods to track him and times that they've actually encountered him. Obviously, Bigfoot is not real, but he is a really fun part of American culture and he shows up a lot. If you're really into hiking and if you're in the northwest of the U.S., you should really check out some of the Bigfoot hiking trails. You won't find Bigfoot, but you will see some beautiful scenery and you'll have a really fun story to tell. 